Hi guys, on the last video I did using this gravity powered car I was talking about trying to make a sort of a slope um, for the weight to roll down at 45 degrees so that we got a longer run than we would with a vertical drop so to make it as similar as this car is so we've got a fair comparison I need to measure the height of this existing tower and that is I don't know if the camera will focus might have to switch it off and on again to get it to focus that looks like that's about 61 centimetres to the top of the pulley if we're generous we could call it 62 I should think 61 or 62 and the length of the car if we go from the back axle there Oh, it's about mm, about 50 centimeters between the axles so I'd need to have my ramp or slope coming past the front of the car or the back of the car depending on which way around it goes if we're going to get it to go 62 centimeters that way so that we have our two sides of a triangle 62 centimetres along the bottom and 62 centimetres up the back to go to the same height as the pulley was. If I just stand it by the side of my cupboard here. So the idea is it will come straight up the back here up to the same height that that pulley was and then go down at a 45 degree angle which will end up just in, in front here somewhere so it'll be whatever I said 62 centimeters from there to there and 62 centimeters from there up to here somewhere and then whatever 62 squared plus 62 squared square root of for the hypotenuse that's a lot of words isn't it I'll just have to build it and see if it works and what it needs to do if you remember the previous video it needs to run the length of my kitchen and finish by the doors of my conservatory if it does that it's not gained anything if it does that and hits the door then it obviously would have gone further because on the previous run it just got as far as the door there and stopped there's our slope there's the weight on some wheels for consistency I've used the same pulley on the back the height of this piece is the same height that the tower was, which is 60 centimetres. And then the pulley sits on top. And then I've done the maths. And 60 squared plus 60 squared is 7,200. And the square root of 7,200 is 84.85 centimetres. So I've actually made this slightly longer than that because I've allowed it to go down near to the ground. But I think we'll find that is a 45 degree angle. The first thing I've noticed is the bit of string that I was using before, it's just touching the top of the axle there, is not long enough to get to the end of the slope. 
So that does actually prove to me that we're going to get a slightly longer run than we would have done. Or a longer pull on the string anyway. What we should have is 60 would have been the old drop and now we've got 84.85. So we've got an extra 25 centimetres drop which I think we worked out before was about 45% or something. So we'll set it up with a longer piece of string so we get the benefit of the full drop and see how it goes. Test run time. Got a longer bit of string. So we'll wind it up so my little weight trolley comes up to the top of the slope and then we'll let it go and see how far it goes. Now the sun's shining in the conservatory which makes the camera um, correct for the extra light so I'm not sure how well it will look when I chase it. We may lose it in the sunlight. In fact what I think I'll do is I'll put it on a tripod and just see if it goes. If it goes we'll have another run and I'll chase it with the camera. So, set up. We'll see what happens. Ah, bit of a disaster. <laughs> it slipped off the side and the weight fell off. But we were going quite well. So I'll glue the weight back on again and see if we can do better. We'll start with the camera lower so I can grab it easier and chase it. So you won't be able to see the full detail until it gets moving. Right, grab the camera. <laughs> Try and point the little truck in the right direction. So we're on the red line. Let's go for it. I would say we got the same distance. We dropped off the weight. And it carried on freewheeling a little way. But I don't think we actually improved anything on the original straight drop. Logically, it's only the same amount of power potential energy, kinetic energy, that sort of thing. 
It's just that taking it over a longer run, it means the wheels are actually powered for a longer distance, but they're powered with less power. So, we've given it a try anyway. Feel free to see if you can do better.